Well, hello, my beautiful jewels and gems, and welcome to this edition of Ash Chantel Radio. So excited to jump into this relationship advice Q&A. Uh, we're going to be talking today to Angel Mom, and she wrote me in asking me a question about a silly incident that she had w- with her boyfriend that led her into pretending to be cheating on him. So we're going to get into her question uh, and uh, definitely leave your advice for her after you hear the question in the comment section below. I want to let you guys know that you can always email me questions at ashchantel at gmail.com. That is A-S-K-C-H-A-U-N-T-E-L. You can also call in and leave a voicemail. We'll air your voice on the show. The number is 641-715-3900, extension 10988. Can't wait to get into this one. You got problems in your life and you need advice. All you gotta do is ask Chantel. Hi guys. Hi guys. My name is Chantel from AskChantel.com. And these are my two girls. What's your name? Nina. And what's your name? I'm a Christian mom and wife and a relationship life and business coach and I'm here to inspire women to have healthy lives, healthy families, and meaningful businesses and brands. Welcome to our channel. We hope that you love the video. So we're just meeting. I just want to let you guys know that I help new wives, girl bosses, and moms uh, by giving them advice, empowerment, and inspiration here. And I'm really excited to answer Angel Mom's question. So she wrote in and said, hey Chantel, recently um, my boyfriend called it off because of a silly incident where he said that he was on his way in his car to my house. Come to find out, he never left his home, so I called him a liar and some other harsh words. I told him that I didn't have time for games and lies, so I would be busy and was turning my phone off. He assumed it meant another man, so because I was so angry, that we kept going through this crazy stuff, I played along with it. My question is, should I deactivate from Facebook to make him miss me or stay active? Also, we are in couples therapy and I asked if he wanted to still attend. He says yes, but he wants to be friends. Does this mean that he's finished with the relationship? We've been together for a year and two months. So I emailed her back, you guys, and I asked her what were they in therapy for so that I could understand her question a little bit better and kind of the the context of their relationship. She responded back and let me know that uh, it was for better communication because he has a complex with PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress disorder, and she has issues with trust from her past relationships. She said that they are trying to have a better understanding of one another's needs and Uh, She thought that having therapy with him was a good idea, but it doesn't appear to be helping since the therapist cancels often. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and answer her question. And I definitely, before you guys hear my answer, I want to see what you think uh, in the comment section below. Uh, Give some great advice. (laughs) So Angel Mom, I'm going to give you an answer to your question. But before I really get into your specific questions... Just this entire situation tells me that you guys are not doing well with meeting each other's needs. He obviously is playing games. You obviously are playing games. And if you guys really want to get through to each other, you have to practice better communicating with one another. It's not good especially with a man who's dealing with, with any man, but especially a man who's dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder, to uh, make him feel like there might be something else going on and kind of playing with his emotions in this kind of way. Uh, Now, should you deactivate your Facebook? There is nothing good that's going to come from that if you're only doing it because of him. I mean, what if you want to communicate with your friends and your family Um, if anything if you're trying to like make him jealous or make him miss you or something like that you shouldn't deactivate your Facebook what you should do is be more active on your Facebook and be doing things and you shouldn't just be doing it because you're wanting to post it but because you're actually doing it and that energy will automatically make him want to be with you more if that is what you're looking for 
Um, I think it's confusing if you still want to, you know, meet up with him in therapy, but at the same time, you're kind of avoiding him. Uh, he calling you his friend just sounds like he's kind of in this momentum you know waiting space kind of trying to fill you out and kind of trying to get a reaction out of you sounds like he's just kind of waiting for the moment for you guys to pick up where you left off and kind of mend I think instead of trying so hard to be at odds with each other if you guys are trying to make it work then you guys need to be more honest with each other and be honest with how you feel and not be playing games with each other. Uh, now, I do think already being in therapy in such a young relationship, you've only been together for a year and two months, I think that it's something to think about as far as um, how compatible you are with each other. I think therapy is great. I just think this is really early for it. So I just would, it would just make me think that there might be some more things that you should consider and make sure that you guys are, you know, meant to be together. And that's what dating is about. It's about figuring out if you're meant to be so that you can find your husband. You're, you know, that's what we're working towards here. We're not just dating to date. But we're dating to get married and so I'm hoping that you're thinking about that as you're going forward you know are you guys a match is this meant to be and if it is then you guys need to be be real be serious and stop playing games don't make him feel like you're cheating on him don't be deactivating your Facebook um, it's just you just don't want to go that way uh, it's time to kind of pick up your bootstraps and try to make this thing work and be honest with each other because nobody got time for that <laughs> all right so i hope that this helps if you guys have questions uh feel free to email me my email address is askchantel at gmail.com that is a-s-k-c-h-a-u-n-t-e-l uh definitely leave your advice for angel mom in the comment section below so thank you guys so much for listening to Ash Chantel Radio today. I just want to let you know that you can snap some free bonus material on ashchantel.com. The first one is eight steps to uh, making a good man want you. The other is eight steps to being a great Christian wife. So depending on where you are in your relationship, those are for you. And I also have private coaching available on ashchantel.com if you're interested. Definitely don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And live meaningfully. And I love you. Hugs and kisses.